Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Seek Show. Today I'm going to show you how to derive the LST or in other words how to calculate the LST land surface temperature using Landsat 8 images. Right, first of all you have to subscribe my channel and click the bell button to get the latest notification. Right? Okay, let's move to the today's topic. Here I am using Landsat 8 data. You know there are several bands in Landsat 8. I am going to use band 10 because uh, band 10 is a thermal band. Uh, what I am going to use? Uh, raster calculator. I have to use several equations. I have created a flowchart. This is the flowchart. What I am going to do? Right, first. Uh, I'm going to use uh, band number 10 in the Landsat 8 data. Uh, there are several equations. The first equation is uh, this is. This is the first equation. And uh, there are uh, two rescaling factors. These are constant uh, values. You have to uh, use this metadata file to get the uh, constant values or rescaling factors. Uh, first I am going to uh, calculate TOA top of atmospheric uh, spectral radiance uh, that means L lambda using this equation uh, I am going to calculate TOA first right uh, you have to apply the equation uh, in the raster calculator tool just make sure to apply the equation correctly and I'm going to save this as TOA uh, this will create a raster file Click OK Right now, now I have created uh, my first output. Then I'm going to uh, apply the second equation using the raster calculator tool. Uh, then I have to use the created L lambda file to get the BT, that means uh, brightness temperature. Uh, this is the brightness temperature equation. There are two uh, thermal constant called K1 and K2. Right? You have to get the K1 and K2 constant values, thermal constant values using this metadata file. If you uh, download the Landsat 8 data from the official uh, websites, you can have this metadata file. Right? Now we have created uh, TOA. And then I'm going to use this equation to calculate the brightness temperature. Make sure to properly apply this equation using the raster calculator tool. You have to use the uh, provided symbol in the raster calculator tool. It is necessary to apply this equation on the raster calculator tool. Uh, using the symbols in the raster calculator tool itself i'm going to save it as bt i just uh, copy and paste the equation just to uh, show the video length right now we have uh, used two equations first is toa and then is bt brightness temperature then we have I'm going to calculate the NDVI using uh, band 4 and band 5 hope you know the equation hope you know how to calculate the NDVI calculating NDVI is another part of uh, calculating LST land surface temperature 
use this float condition to calculate the NDVI band 5 minus band 4 divided by band 5 plus band 4 in the Landsat 8 images I'm going to save it as NDVI2 right uh, this is uh, remove it and this is the NDVI right now we have calculated uh, three items we have three outputs TOA BT and NDVI right hope you know these things these are the equations we have applied on uh, raster calculator tool and now uh, I'm going to do another step our third equation this is called PV I'm going to apply this equation on uh, raster calculator tool I am going to just copy and paste after calculating the NDVI we can get the uh, maximum NDVI value and the minimum NDVI value we already have it and then we are going to calculate the PV I'm going to save it, save it as PV here PV is the uh, proportion of vegetation that is what we are going to calculate now click OK and you will get the PV so now you have four outputs TOA, BT, NDVI and PV and uh, this now then we are going to error correction we have to apply the error correction equation this is the equation these values are constant these formulas are tested by the particular applications and it has been published by NSC, NASA and some other organizations now I am going to apply this uh, error correction equation right. I am going to save it as E click OK and right now you have several outputs uh, now uh, I'm going to apply this equation finally to get the LST to calculate the LST first we calculated TOA then uh, BT brightness temperature and using band then set band 4 and band 5 we calculated NDVI and uh, after proportion of vegetation calculated and then we have error corrected and then finally we use this equation to get calculate the LST land surface temperature the only tool I am using here is raster calculator I just copy and paste uh, in the raster calculator tool just to show my video length just make sure to use the uh, raster calculator symbols in the tool itself 
this formula is already tested and uh, published by different organizations right that is because we can use this simply and uh, now you can see the calculated LST values the maximum temperature and the minimum temperature right now you know uh, how to calculate LST value using raster calculator tool I said there are several equations to do this these equations and formulas and constant values have already tested by the particular applications and uh, finally you can develop this map into a professional map right uh, right uh, that's all for today hope you have learned something new and uh, please remember to click the subscribe button and uh, click the bell button to get the latest notification i will be back with the new lesson soon and uh, thank you very much for watching